Hello everyone. I hope you are all doing well. I'm Manhar and welcome back to MSFT webcast. In this video, we are going to learn the steps on how to convert an existing dynamic disk to a fixed size disk on a Hyper-V or vice versa. You might initially choose to create a fixed disk, but over the time you may notice that there is a lot of unused space on the virtual machine which ends up consuming unnecessary physical resources. You might be wondering, is it possible to convert a fixed disk to a dynamically expanding disk? Or perhaps you have a VM with a 100 GB dynamic disk that needs to be converted to a fixed disk due to the performance issues. Is it possible to convert an existing dynamic disk to a fixed size disk? Yes, it is possible. And you can achieve this using either Hyper-V Manager or Windows PowerShell. First, we will convert an existing fixed size virtual disk to a dynamically expanding disk. In this example, we have attached a 20 GB fixed size disk to this VM and stored some data on it. Disk 1 is the 20 GB fixed size disk. We want to convert this disk into a dynamically expanding disk. You can convert the disk type while the VM is running, but for data safety, we will shut down the VM before performing the conversion. Shut down the VM and close the VM connection tool. Right click on Win 11-VM01 and select settings. Under the controller, click on the hard drive that you want to convert. After locating the correct virtual hard disk, click on edit. You can see the path where the selected VHD is stored. You will also see a warning advising not to convert the disk if it meets any of the conditions listed below. Otherwise, converting the disk may result in data loss. Click next to continue. On choose action page, you will see three available options. Compact, convert and expand. Here we will select convert. Click next. You can select the disk format choosing either VHD or VHDX. We will go with the VHDX format. Then click next to continue. On the choose disk type page, select dynamically expanding and then click next. Specify the name and location for the virtual hard disk. Let's name it fixed to dynamic disk 1. You can assign any name of your choice for this virtual disk. Click next to continue. Review and confirm the settings and then select finish to start the process. This process may take some time depending on the data on the fixed disk and the performance of your physical disk. Wait while the process completes. Click OK. The process has been completed successfully and our fixed size disk is now converted into a dynamically expanding disk. Let's verify it. Go back to File Explorer. Check the size of the converted dynamic disk in the File Explorer. The fixed size disk was 20 GB in size and the dynamically expanding disk now shows only 1.4 GB in size which reflects the actual data stored on it. The disk will expand automatically as more data is added. As you can see, conversion process is very simple. Using the same steps, we can also convert an existing dynamically expanding disk to a fixed size. If you want to resize the existing virtual hard disk, you can shrink or expand it using a similar process. Now, let's see how we can convert a dynamic disk to a fixed size disk using Windows PowerShell. Right click the Windows Start button and select Terminal Admin to launch the PowerShell with administrative permissions. We have stored a dynamically expanding disk on the D drive under the folder named VHDS with the name dynadisk1.vhdx. Type command get hyphen VHD hyphen path d colon slash VHDS slash dynadisk1.vhdx and press enter. Check the VHD type, it should be dynamic. Now let's convert this VHD into a fixed size VHD using the convert hyphen VHD commandlet. Type command convert hyphen VHD hyphen path d colon slash VHDS slash dynadisk1.vhdx hyphen destination path d colon slash VHDS slash fixed disk one dot VHDX hyphen VHD typed fixed. This command will convert the dynamically expanding disk named dynadisk1 to a fixed size disk saved as fixed disk1. Press enter to execute the command. This process may take some time depending on the size of your virtual disk and the performance of your physical disk. Wait while the process completes. The process has been completed successfully 
and our dynamic vhd is now converted into a fixed size disk that's verified type command get hyphen vhd hyphen path d colon slash vhds slash fixed disk one dot vhdx and press enter this time the vhd type will be fixed since the dynamically expanding disk was 10 gb in size the fixed disk size is also 10 gb this confirms that the process was completed successfully now you can attach this virtual disk to your vms this is how you can convert a vhd type using both hyper-v manager and windows powershell that's all for this video on how to convert an existing dynamic disk to a fixed size disk on Hyper-V or vice versa. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on Microsoft Hyper-V and other Microsoft related topics. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.